Eight-year-old Stuart was diagnosed with autism four years ago. You can have One, two, two, three. His mother, Susan, has been looking for ways to improve his condition ever since. A couple of years ago, Stuart really struggled with a number of things. Physically, he struggled with his endurance. He does have a lot of hyperactivity and impulsivity, and he also has a lot of irritability. Over the years, Stuart's taken a number of different medications to treat his symptoms, but his mother says that many of them weren't effective. Jada Pickett Smith, the David Schwimmer, and um, Marty. I oh, think come and sit down, I Stuart. Think the computer. No, we're going to sit down and then we can look at all them. When he gets upset, it um, you know if things are changing, anything unexpected, he has a lot of anxiety, and that's where. I really don't want to use anti-anxiety medication because he is so young. So I'm hoping to use more natural approaches and one of those um, treatment approaches would be yoga to really help him calm himself down on his own. Can you do that, Stuart? Can you stretch your legs? Stuart, like many children with autism, has a short attention span. The ability to focus on a task can help a child tremendously and this is an area where yoga has made a difference for Stuart. Going forward. Stuart has improved since uh, he first started yoga. He actually took yoga with me last year as well as this year. And since the beginning, he has really improved in his ability to relax and to really come into the space and create a little bit of focus. He doesn't pay a lot of attention to me, but mum's there for him so that she can kind of draw his attention in and get him to participate in the class. There are moments though when I'm down in a small pose and Stuart likes those small teeny tiny little poses and I look out and he's staring at me and there is a connection and you can really feel that he is kind of tuning in to, to who I am and if, if you can hold that for a few moments it's the most beautiful feeling. As you move through the world and as you move through society, we kind of uh, put people into boxes, right? And, and, and even Stuart is in that autism box. It doesn't create any limitations. Only society creates those limitations. Good. Awesome. Thank you, Stuart. So really, he is as able as every other person to, to participate in whatever his heart desires. Dr. Catherine Pryor works at the Thames Valley Children's Centre in London. She says that yoga as a form of therapy is an emerging field of interest. There aren't any large-scale studies yet, but there's been a lot of interest generated around the benefits of yoga for children with autism, for example, um, how that might help them with relaxation, emotional regulation, providing a form of exercise, providing a way of improving strength and balance and also providing an activity that parents and children can do together. On the ice is another place where Stewart's been making gradual improvements. He plays in a special needs hockey league and his coach believes the yoga has something to do with the change in his game. Because of the yoga, Stewart's balance is incredible now. Stewart does not fall down on the ice like he did when he first started out. Stuart would always be off in the corner, not even knowing where the puck was. And now I find that Stuart is a little more focused on, on chasing the puck and going after it. He's more aware of the puck. Uh, he likes to hold two hands on the stick now, don't you, Stuart? Yes. Two hands on the stick, right? Good boy. With the progress Stuart's made so far, his mother believes his personality and determination will help him reach his goals. He's a happy-go-lucky guy. He, uh, he just approaches everything with an open heart. Everybody seems to love Stuart. He's just one of those kids you just want to hug. For Western News, I'm Nida Siddiqui.